You really don't need any more than your lead and the little tail on your rope. So we're just gonna move forward with just this. So first things first, I have my horse, Avar, and I'm gonna step back and I wanna ask him to go to my right. So it's super important, again, a reason why we don't wanna maybe use an aid right at first, that our horse is learning to do this off of our body language. Just like if you were riding, you don't want your horse to just like see a dressage whip and freak the hell out. The, the, the movement's gonna come from your energy and not whatever aid, not the spinning of the rope. Notice how I can spin this and he doesn't go anywhere because he knows that that's not gonna be the tool that tells him to go forward. The boy. It might though at first, right? If they're not used to it, that's a different thing. <laughs> but you want it to just be you at first. So all I'm gonna do to ask my horse to go right is I'm gonna, with the line, I'm gonna open up my arm to the right as if I'm pointing, let's go this way, and I'm gonna step towards the opposite shoulder because I want him to move his shoulders away from me. He doesn't have to do a dramatic crossover at this stage. I just want the energy to push him out. I don't want him to just go, okay, and walk in towards me and leave. Hi, good boy. So let's go ahead and we'll show you that. So I'm gonna tell him that I want him to wait there so I can get my space again. And we're gonna get his attention. Woohoo, good boy. I'm gonna open up, step in. There goes good old Avar, good boy. So now he's walking on a circle. This is where at the beginning, just like if you were starting riding, you might not be super picky because you might not even know what you're looking for. You're just kind of like, okay, here he is. He's walking around in a circle. But what I want you to start to look for is, is he bending? Just like as if we were riding. Is there some arc in his rib cage? Where are his feet landing? Where is his neck bent? Where's his nose tipped? All the above. This is where you're gonna start to get a little pickier as they get more and more adjusted to working with you on the ground. The goal being that if this was a young horse, maybe when you get on for your first ride, they already know how to hold a bend on a little 15, 12 meter circle. So this is where if he was starting to really fall in, dramatic, I could kind of toss the rope towards his shoulder. That might make them trot at first, right? Because just like a young horse, they, they feel pressure. They think forward. They don't know that pressure could mean anything other than forward. So this might be where you would have to bump the rope if they broke out into a trot. Just say, no, 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 I wanna walk, but I wanna work on what our body shape looks like. Yeah.